mankind mobilized, a new age arose. The age of the great predator cities. Survival of the fastest. First things first, did you get to keep the suit? No, I gave it back quite willingly, actually. <laughs> Why? It looked good on you. You should Thank have kept you. it. You see? Someone else thinks that. You're Thank talking you about the grey suit with the white balls. See? Someone else likes that. <laughs> That's your Halloween costume sorted for the rest of your life. You do know that. <laughs> well, I've been, I spent a lot of time in performance capture suits. <laughs> for sure. He feels like an angry, broken machine with a lost boy inside, uh -huh. kind of searching. How was it for you trying to find a character that, that felt true and real while also remembering that a massive part of you is also machinery. Mm, challenging, <laughs> I think, to, to, to do that. I just took it, uh, I tried to uh, simplify, I tried to, uh, I, I tried to hollow out the chassis, yes. and then uh, see uh, if I could uh, uh, add the hard drive, yes. which essentially is, is, is what he is. I tried to figure out, you know, where the sensitivities were, where the insensitivities were, where the static was, mm -hmm. when, when things would clarify for a moment. I created a dozen and more uh, images and metaphors in my own head and my own work to make, it, to make me be able to approach the work. Mm. And then I just held my breath and jumped in, because what are you going to do? Yeah. You've got to create a new language for yourself, don't you? A new mm -hmm. way of talking mm -hmm. about it. He's here. Nothing can stand in the face of this. We have to stop London before it destroys us. When we go from the misunderstood to, well, the, the downright evil, really. Do you think that evil is a good word to describe it? There you go, it? you've misunderstood, uh, misunderstood the character entirely. <laughs> Was he a fun character to be able to explore, to have those two dimensions, to be able to, you know, show the kinder side to him, but then also the ruthlessness that, I guess, keeps him rooted in, in pushing forward? Yeah, I mean, look, he's a human being and he has a past which we don't find out very much about, but obviously he has reasons for doing what he does. He's a particular type of character who seems to inhabit a world from immense charisma and, and charm to one where he's absolutely without any sensitivity towards anyone else. So it's quite a broad um, brief, really. And finally, um, October 2019 is 25 years since Priscilla came out, an iconic piece of queer cinema. Um, <laughs> did you ever imagine that would have such an impact on my community? Um, I saw, it was funny when I first started talking about that with Stefan, who was the director, yeah. and we'd just done another film together, and he said, oh, I've got this film, I do want to read it, it's about these drag queens who go out to the desert, and I don't know, you know I said, come, come. I said, I'll do anything in that film. I'll do a day's work on that film. And then we started working on it. And there was a lot of, in Sydney at the time, it was a very, um, the Mardi Gras was, was, was kind of a big event. It had crossed over from being a political, uh, um, you know, a activist sort of um, uh, event where, where people were arrested. And I can remember when that was happening to yeah. one where the whole city was sort of embraced, embraced it. And, and there were some pretty cutting edge drag queens operating, some really political figures in, in drag. So just started to feel like we were actually, you know, he, he was making this film, which was just felt like he was riding the crest of this wave, which was about to break. And I think it did. I think that's why it was popular yeah. at the time, because actually it was expressing something that was questioning what masculinity was and what what what. what all of our sexualities and how fluid indeed are they and how how constructed we are in our roles and yeah. so it was actually a really fascinating piece to do for all sorts of reasons other than the fact that it was just a huge amount of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and a remake, are you game? Oh well I, we had ideas at the time for, come on, I, my idea was we should, um, the girls should, um, they built a space rocket right and we went to, to, we're trying to go to the moon so I think you start doing all this terrible uh, um, uh, sort of bad Melier uh, brothers, uh, uh, you know, Melier um, sort of moon, you know, pretty shitty moon rocket. The, 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 <laughs> yeah, that's sort of thing. You can go into that territory with poor animation and, and the, dra the girls up on the moon me meeting funny monsters and things. <laughs> I thought that would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. going to fly. <laughs> it's only got the script written already. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, maybe. We'll see. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.